Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Fallout Mama here. I am going to see what the purveyor has for me. So, if you haven't heard already, until the 31st, the purveyor is going to have a mystery pick for 600 legendary script. I'm sorry. 60 legendary script and it's going to be a three star legendary whatever the purveyor is going to pick for you so i have 726 script over there so i am going to see what the purveyor is going to give to me so i cleared out my inventory and over on my side those are the only things that i have that are legendary that are in um on my person right now so let's see what she gives us we'll go over here let's see what our first one is for 60 legendary script vampires pipe revolver gain brief health regeneration when you hit an enemy Bullet explodes for area damage, faster movement, speed while aiming. So, 73 damage. Um, that's not a great one. So, it's not one that I would use. So, let's go for another one. Poisoner's Trapper, right leg, damage from robots, poison resistant, become hard to detect while sneaking. I have not seen one of these. So for the damage resist, it has damage resist, poison resist, electric resist, and then radiation resist has 45 so I could see if there's any way I can level that up at all so let's go for another one furious pump action shotgun damage increase after each consecutive hit on the same target that's critical shots do 50 plus damage your vats critical meter is 15% faster Damage is 95. Mm, that's also one that I wouldn't use. Assassin's Marine Armor Left Leg. 75% chance to reduce damage by 8% from players. 1% endurance. Reduces damage while blocking by 15%. Um, I'm not a PvP player, so... I would say that one I probably would not use either. Zealot's robot right arm. 15 damage from scorched. One point perception. Weapon weight weights reduced by 20%. Now I do have um, Zealot's armor. I have two pieces already. Um, so I can see if I can modify this at all, because the damage resist on these are low. Um, so, so far this would probably be the only one that I would use so far. Let's try another one. Prisoner, oh, Poisoner's Metal Right Leg. So we got another Poisoner's. Increases size of sweet spot while picking locks. I don't really pick a lot of locks, so let's go for another one. Troubleshooter's Handmade. Damage 72. 250 plus damage resistant while reloading. 25% faster fire rate. 30 plus percent damage to robots. Aww. I probably wouldn't use that one either. Let's go again. I don't use any swords. Um, 
I don't know anyone else that does either, but here's a hunter's Chinese officer's sword. Yeah. Damage, 72. Alright. Well, we got a little bit left here. Vampire switchblade. I also don't know anybody that uses switchblades. Um, alrighty. Two shot fat man. So I think this one is a great one. Uh, it is heavy and many nukes are also heavy to carry around. So you need a high carry weight and also got to have a high supply of mini nukes. Again, you can use this when you need it and you don't have to have this as your primary weapon. But this one shoots an additional projectile when you fire. Bashing damage increased by 40% plus 50% damage resist while aiming. And the damage is 2,925 um, because it's a nuke. And as you can see, I don't have any nukes on me. I might have some in my stash. Uh, so I have 126 legendary left so let's see what we can get here centennials metal right arm i've never even heard of centennial so this would be my first time hearing of this 70 percent chance to reduce damage by eight percent from players one point agility 75 percent chance to reduce damage by 15 percent while standing still so this is another PvP uh, armor, which I'm not a PvP player, so all right, I'm going to go for one more mystery pick from the purveyor. Let's see what we got for our last one. Exterminators wood chest piece, fifteen percent damage from mirror lurks and bugs, one plus. Endurance, 50% more durability than normal. Yay. Um, probably wouldn't use this either. Uh, but we can see what we can use. 